Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Happy Mail Queen. I'm here to share another Alina Craft Design Team project. But before I do that, I just wanted to wish all the teachers a happy Teacher's Day. Um, it's actually Teacher's Appreciation Week. So for the whole week it is. Um, we are celebrating our educators. So teachers, all of you teachers out there, we celebrate you today and we thank you. It's also Nurses Week. So any nurses out there, I also want to say thank you because um, as nurses, we do so much for our patients and yeah, we appreciate what you do. <clears throat> okay, so I made several little embellishments and let me go ahead and share that with you guys. First of all, I had created some rosettes. Now I had seen some people um, sharing, um, I think they call it, uh, is it a sewn rosette or stitched rosette? And I was wondering what that was, but then I realized, oh, okay, people are putting stitches on their rosettes. So I thought I would give it a try. And um, you can make these rosettes by hand, or you can also use uh, a Lena Craft um, die that creates a rosette. This one right here is a really great die to use. Okay, and I just whipped these out. And so I had my, um, actually my sewing machine out. And I was creating something... Um, you know, the, where I was stitching um, some pages. And then I decided, oh, you know, I want to make some rosettes and I want to, you know, try those stitched rosettes. So uh, I had some of gold strips left from the project that I was working on. And I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to sew this strip with this strip and then make a rosette. So there, there it is. That's what I created. And then um, there's this pretty, very shabby chic um, buttons that I had recently hauled from Michaels. And I haven't even done that haul video yet. <laughs> I'm kind of behind on my videos. But anyway, I use that. And they're very simple, but I thought, you know, they're very Maggie Holmes looking. So. So there's that one project. And then you guys remember my fun um, swan die that I used to create this. And um, I wanted to play with my swan die again, which is this one right here. And so I had pre-cut these ovals um, they look like these right here and this was um, when I was creating my swans the last time and um, so I had made a few of these and I thought you know I'm going to make something a little bit different because I'm working on a bigger project right now so this is just some embellishments that's going to go inside my bigger project but um I made some swans, um, also using some of the ribbon that I hauled from Hobby Lobby. And this time, I made them magnetic. So um, I like using these. I got these on Amazon. Um, they're just the really strong um, magnets. And I believe these are 1 16th inch thick thick and they're about a quarter inch in diameter um, but yeah I cut out the you know the feather um, feather looking spools of ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby I wanted to try them out and they do come out really cute as you can see I hope you guys let me see if I can zoom on that right there 
And yeah, I wanted to make a magnetic and then I made this one right here also magnetic. And this one is using the other ribbon that is also um, feathery. Really cute. I love the way they came out. And then um, this one that I had previously made, I just put a magnet on the back. And the reason I did that was because um, I put a magnet in behind this one. And so you can put this on anything your um you know, it's just a great little way to gift some embellishments. You can just stick them there and then your pen pal can just use them. And, you know, instead of sticking it with adhesive, I just thought that would be fun. I love making little magnetic tags, things like that. Um, that um, is really fun and interactive. It's just an interactive element element for your projects. Um, I did use this wonderful nesting die again. I absolutely love this one. And this one is the, I think it's called the eight piece basic frame. Is it eight pieces? Two, four, six, eight. Yep. This is the basic frame and I love using this one. Um, and then what did I create with that one? I made, oh, I was making some bows with that new, again, the, PVC ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I thought I needed to display them in a very pretty way because um, I'll be gifting this to somebody but look how cute are these bows not just beautiful and they were really easy to make and as far as gluing them I did use the you can use Fabri-Tac or um, Fabri-Tac, which is this one, in case you guys are wondering, and then um, or I used my Helmer's glue, and that seems to work fine for this to adhere this together. And then I just popped some foam adhesive just to put it on this frame. So I made that one. Um, I also made the blue ones and as you can see these can go really flat okay so you can definitely stick them in your um, albums or your uh, flip books anything like that um, and then you can just kind of puff them up again so I think they came out really cute and then um, I also used this die right here and I stitched some um, this is the curtain die you guys window curtain die and that's one thing that's one die that I hadn't played with for my design team package and I created these shakers and it's a really great way to um, also hold some embellishment like these butterflies that I created and um, I just tuck them in. So let me let's see, let me show you. So I made the shaker, I stitched it. First of all, I used the die to cut this paper out and it kind of creates a nice um, window. Um, and then I made a vellum pocket and um, I put, actually before I made the vellum pocket, I just put two pieces of vellum and then layered this and then stitched it all around and that created my shaker and I love it. I've been meaning to make some vellum shakers and so I thought it was perfect. And I didn't know what to do for the sides here because it's a ribbon, you know, like a curtain ribbon um, or a curtain pull. I don't know what you call that. but. I just put some butterflies on this one. These are just punched out butterflies. Um, here's, and anyway, what I do is, I thought, oh, you know, I can just tuck in some of these butterflies that I also sewed and I also uh, used, I love these, and they're layered um, vellum and some Maggie Holmes paper. And again, it's this one right here, which um, unfortunately, Elena doesn't carry it in her shop anymore, but I love using this. I, find that I've been using it over and over again but anyway whatever um, 
whatever, you know, uh, butterfly die you have, you can use. And then, but look, it's just cute to just tuck in there and they can remove it and use it. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's just a nice way to gift. Um, here's another one. And again, I tucked in some butterflies. And this one, here, let me take this off. Just to show you, this one here, I used another Alina Craft die that creates that, um, um, it's like a vine. I'll make sure I put the list of all the products I used in the description box. This is a die cut from my stash, and I designed this one differently. And I just, again, put a punched butterfly there. And again, it's a shaker. So really, really cute. And then, um, then, oh, and this is the bow die, of course, that I use to make the bigger bows. And then I also made some smaller bows. And I put it in this, um, another Alina Craft die, which is, sorry guys, it's this one right here. I used this, this and this, this one. And I just layered it, and that's a great way to um, display these tiny bows. And then I used this one as well, these two, to create these little bows. And I think they're just absolutely adorable. Isn't that cute? So yeah, just having fun with um, some Alina Craft dies. Uh, some of them are old. Um, as well as this one is a new die at her store for my last design team uh, package and you guys she has the May release now so <laughs> there are a lot of dies new dies once again in her store and lots of new products so please make sure you go and visit Alina Craft store I will leave the link down in the description box and thank you so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye for now.